Hey guys, I Horror Movies here, and welcome back. Let's play The Legend of Zelda: Link to the Past, brought to you by GameNewOne.com. In our last episode, we escorted Princess Zelda out of the Hyrule Dungeon, and now we're free to explore the world of Hyrule more so than Episode One. We picked up a few heart pieces last time, did some more mischief stuff around the entire world, got some magic bottles in the uh, Kakariko Village, and now more exploring. We still have a lot to cover today, so let's get to it immediately. First things first. Uh, throughout the entire world of Hyrule, um, I'll call it the world of Hyrule, I'm not sure what the actual world really is, but uh, for all intents and purposes, it's the world of Hyrule. You'll see caves like that that have fairies in them that can fully restore your hearts, so that's pretty nice there. Yeah, there, there's a plethora of them throughout the entire world, in most cases I will need them because I suck. So, and then now we're in the desert. You don't really need need to be here right now, and um, oh, there's a, a, a thing up there, a uh, monolith. I'm gonna call it a monolith. Even though I know what the thing actually is, but uh, don't worry about that for right now. We'll be back there much later on. I'm gonna make your way up to right about here. I guess these were cattle, buffalo of sorts. Didn't realize Hyrule had them. If that's what, if that's what they really are, I really have no idea. Anyway, main reason why I'm here is to pick up a nice little handy item here. In a dark, dank cave. That seems kind of ominous. There's no one here. Or there could be someone here. Why are you here? You are Agina, or Agina, whatever. Since something's happening in the Golden Land, the Seven Wise Men sealed. Uh oh, well that ain't good. The hero will stand in the desert, holding the Book of Medora. Well, well, we don't have that yet. If only we could get it, but we can for right now, so, oh well. Then you see a little face on the wall there. It looks like a face, I mean, the two eyes and the nose. It's, well, what's, what, what, what it looks like to me, anyway. Anyway, come down here for another heart piece for our fourth one already. Now we have five hearts. Yay! We're already a fourth of the way there to having Matt's hearts, which is 20, by the way. For those who suck at math, like me. No, I'm, I'm just kidding. I mean, that's all we can do here for right now, so let's leave. This desert's annoying. I don't like deserts. Way too damn hot. Although I've never been to a desert before, but I know that it's, they're hot all the time and extremely dry, which is just accurate and just bleh, would not like the desert at all. Swing your sword. There we go. I keep hitting the, the wrong button on my controller to swing my sword. Oh well. well. Okay, now that we're done over here, um, let's make our way off to the east. We have many more things that we can do today. I'm still trying to wrap my brain for like what all we can do because there's so much to do at the start of the game. Yeah, I'll, I'll be doing like actual plot stuff soon enough, but there's I just want to cover everything there is to cover for right now. And then we'll uh, make our way to like to do some real fun stuff, like our first real dungeon of the game. Ooh, ruby is nice. Score. Yeah, I'm gonna try not to say rubies because I know when I was a kid, my brother and I played this game. We would call them rubies just because. I mean, we like, they they're ten they are rupees, R U P E E S, not rubies. But I digress. And die. Yeah, new enemies around here. These claws, these crab things are very powerful. Actually, they'll take off two hearts at this point in the game. So don't get hit by them. And then we have, uh, what are these things called? I think they're Zoras, aren't they? These guys right down here. Yeah, they'll shoot those energy ball things at you, so just avoid them. But they're really, really slow, so it's nothing to worry about there. Yeah, it's too bad we can't deflect them or anything with, like, our shield, but our shield's like a piece of wood, pretty much. And new enemies here, these guys. You guys remember a larger enemy of the list just like these guys? They suck. A lot. Ow. That was painful. Yeah, would you, you're not supposed to be back here in this room until later on in the game, technically speaking, but if you have the bombs, you can do this right now. We're just going to plant a bomb, throw it, kill the bitch, and then we're good to go. So, plant another one. Preferably not plant one and it falls down the hole. That's never happened to me before. I'm just giving that as an example. Right. Yeah, right, right, right. And a treasure trove with more bombs. Yay. And money. And more money! And arrows! We can't use them yet, though. It sucks. Oh, okay. It's a secret to everyone. LOL. 300 rupees! Holy shit, Link is rich. Link, you are one rich elf. And, was that a really necessary game? Meh, oh well. Okay, we're done there. Moving right along. And, ow. That, ow, that kinda hurt. Go away, damn bird. Ah, I got so much stuff around. Oh my god. Too much crap. 
and just kill you. Yeah, those guys those, those little green things right there. Um, don't attack them with your sword directly because you'll be electrocuted and take damage. So best way to deal with them, either that, throw a bush at them, and yes, a bush is a weapon in this game. I, I don't know. Go away, damn bee. Ow, go away. That's a little overkill to kill a bee with a sword, isn't it? But oh well. But now I am armed with the most powerful weapon in the entire world. A bush! Haha! <laughs> you cannot you cannot stop me, my bush. Oh god, that sounded wrong. I'm sorry. Die. Uh, die uh, I keep hitting the wrong button for my sword, damn it. Urgh, stupid controller. Let's try that one. That's what you gonna miss. Let's try that one. There we go. And that. There we go. And come on. Don't hit me. Don't hit me. I'm almost dead. There we go. Okay, now I'm better. Okay, this giant rock right here, we cannot lift, nor can we lift these ones. And it's like, oh my god, a giant rock! Or awesome rock from Final Fantasy Legacy. I miss awesome rock so much. <clears throat> if you play Final Fantasy Legacy with me, or Ceres, or Sue, or Sutagen, you know awesome rock. It's in the, um, underwater pass where you fight the Auto Mammoth, like, right before you fight him. There's, like, a, there's one rock sitting there. It's, it's the awesome rock. And also, we did the Ice Rod! It's chill magic blast of the air, but watch your magic meter. Yeah, we really do not need that right now. Not until much, much, much later in the game. Although I will say, it makes the, the number two dungeon, the second one in the game, very, very easy. Especially with the boss later, later on in there, so. And, ah, damn it! <laughs> I hate when I do that. I'll be doing that a lot, probably, so, well. And, la, la, la. It's me singing. I just blew up your face. It was pretty ugly anyway, I wasn't happy with it. And, ooh, fairies. Oh, I, can, I can show this off right now. Switch to the butt catching net and press Y, I believe it is, and you caught a fairy. You can either keep them in your bottle or set it free. I want to keep them around with me because they're really, really good. You know, what you do is, um, if you die um, anywhere in the game, you'll be revived at, with seven hearts. So right now, of course, that's a full heal. But, um... Yeah, only seven hearts. So later on in the game, it's not as useful, but it's still helpful because it's, a, uh, it's an auto life, really. So I like to try to keep one of them around most cases, although there are some points where I want, like, all potions. Cough, cough, last dungeon, cough, cough. Uh, that one. <clears throat> we'll get to that dungeon later on, but you need a shit ton of magic for it. But that's not until later. Ow. Jeez, I am getting my ass handed to me today. And not in a good way. And, yeah, these guys, yeah, they explode into little, into, blah, burp. Into, like, eight mini, eight mini of those things. Eight. Mini, Mi uh, they're tiny. Ow! Did not mean to do that. There we go. That's my counter. Go magical boomerang. Yeah, the boomerang. Far and away my favorite item in the entire game, especially when we get an upgrade for it. But that's not until also later on in the game. And when we get it, it is kick ass. Oh god, that was close. I could have died right there actually. Maybe I should s I should save or something or save state or whatever. But um, I think actually I'm gonna go back to my house real quick. He does them, yeah, there's still, um, links, there's all three pots that come back later, throughout the entire game. Um, if you leave this house and come back, the three pots come back, and there's three hearts underneath them all the time. So if you need quick healing, just go run, just go back and forth in this house. Yeah, ow. Oh, shit. Shit. Yeah, when you get really, really low on health there, you start hearing the little, like, alarm bleeping thing going off. It's actually quite annoying. Okay, let's just paralyze you. Can I actually hit you, please? Can I actually hit you? There we go, jeez. Boomerang accuracy is horrible, apparently. <coughs> oh, God, cough, excuse me. <clears throat> okay, Alarm, I hear you, shut up. Just snooze your ass. There we go. Okay, now where else can we go? Um, let's head up to the northeast of here. Well, east first, then north, so we're going east-north. I made a new direction, it's called east-north, not northeast. Because I am so good with directions. And uh, I'm, I'm really not, I mentioned this before, actually. Um, directions in me... Don't mix. We really don't. I think it was what an episode of Final Fantasy Nine a couple days ago or a week ago or whatever. I was saying how um if directions if someone asks me where I live, I tell them to like map quest my directions to my house or whatever. I give them my address, and then they just go from there. Really. Yeah, I'm just not good with directions. I'm really not. Okay, go away. Go away. Go away. Go away. There you go. Okay. Now uh, I want to go down here first. There's little. I think there's a fortune teller place, isn't it? Yeah, this is weird. Um, okay, sure. How much is cheap, though? Because, I mean, money is kind of an issue right now, so. You will find the Elder Sahasrala. Is that... 
I always butchered that guy's name, Sahasrala. I had to like pronounce like each like each syllable, but Sahasra la 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 la. I can't read. Get down on my face. Down on my face and way. I hate when I do that. I combine words into each other without even really knowing it. Let's try to say face and way. It came out like fade. Yeah, yeah. Um, not a whole lot else we can do actually right now. Um, besides, we can still head northeast for right now. So let's go ahead and do that. Oh, actually, no, there's somewhere else I can go, now that I think of it. Yeah, up to the, um, well, from here, it's up to the northwest. One more area that we can cover real quick. And, yeah, that should take care of all the optional stuff today. Uh, I, I might go for a little more length with today's episodes early on. There was a bomb under that bush. I wonder who planted it there. Whoever you are, you're a dick. But, yeah, sometimes throughout the game, you'll find bombs underneath the bushes there that will hurt you. So, try to avoid them, if at all possible. And, hello... Double, double, toil, <coughs> trouble, god, ow. Fire, burning cauldron, bubble, making mushroom brew. Ew. Hmm. Well, I guess she needs a mushroom to make mushroom brew. Anyway, this is the magic shop. We can buy magic here. Of course, our magic potions. Yeah, red heals you. Green heals magic. Blue renews both. Simple as that. Anytime you come in here and talk to the apprentice there, you'll get fully healed. So that's pretty nice there. Yeah, if you wanted to, um, yeah, you can buy some some potions right now, but you really don't need to, actually, because magic is not really prevalent right now. And, um, well, you might want to buy a red potion or two if you're, like, new to the game or whatever. But if I have two fairies, that's more than enough for me right now, anyway. So, let me just go ahead and kill you. Yeah, I love how so far my ultimate weapons are a bush and a, a, a bush and a sign. Isn't that awesome? Welcome to Zelda. And yes, get rid of you. And a boomerang. Is immensely useful. I love it. If only boomerangs were this cool in real life. Like, you throw at someone and it actually fucking paralyzes them. Would that not be awesome? I think it would be. But that's just me. And we're way back over here. Pretty much actually come full circle now since last time we got out of here. Yeah, we can still head up northwest and then... There might be one more harpies I can get. I don't remember, actually. Um... Yeah, there's, I'm just, I know, I'm saying this before, there's just so much to do right now. I always try to, like, I always seem to forget a couple of things that we can do early on. Go and knock out you, uh, arrows, yeah, I don't know, why not? Yeah, a lot of times enemies will, of course, will drop, will drop items, and I'll probably pick all of them up. Even, even when I don't really need to, I just do, it's just how I play. I, I could be on, I could have mad rupees or whatever, and I still pick up, um, items and hearts and whatever. I don't really know why, I just do. Now, can we do anything bad here? Oh, oh duh, what, the, what are you doing under there? Duh, duh, duh. How can you fit under a bush? You're a huge armored knight. How does that even work? This game is ridiculous sometimes. Yeah, there will be some crazy moments later on in the game. And, hey, it's the derp lumber, lumberjacks. Mysterious fog. Uh-oh, it's mist. Oh, this one tree in particular doesn't look any different, does it? Oh, actually, no, yeah, it does a little. No, it doesn't. Maybe I'm just colorblind. Yeah, it's probably, yeah, I'm colorblind today. Anyway, let's make our way up into the Illusion Forest woods here. The Forest of Illusion. I forget what this place is actually called. Well, I love the music here. Ow, damn bird. I hate you so much. That's the only reason why I'm here is to come right down here, actually. Find a secret passage. H.C. Bailey for the win. And yay, another heart piece. Let's see. I'm trying to think again. I know I keep saying this. Where else I can even go right now? One of our Ed's members is staying at the entrance to the desert. Oh, okay. We'll have to stop by and visit that guy later on. But again, not until later. Let's just make our way out of here. Ow, damn it. Keep pressing the wrong button for my sword. Now, I wanted to show off one other thing here, too, real quick. Um, where is that? Oh, oh, wait, 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 I almost forgot. Um, where is it, 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 where is it? There it is! There it is. We found a mushroom! I have no idea why it's just sitting here. To anyone who wants it. But who would want a mushroom, pray tell? Well, quite frankly, I would. I don't, like, I don't, really, like, I don't really like mushrooms. Where is that one dude hanging out at? Wait, was that? Could it possibly be? No, it, it couldn't be, could it? No, no, it's shenanigans. It's 
It's, it's the Master Sword! We found- oh. Oh. <laughs> troll! Troll sword is troll. <laughs> I just threw the Fate Sword, the thief. Yeah, make sure you don't bump into that guy because he will steal your items, so try to avoid that. And he won't take all of them, but a bunch of your rupees and bombs and arrows will pop out of you. So he will take them, he never get them bad. So try to avoid that. Da -da, there we go. Da -da. Yeah, you're gonna hear a lot of like random nonsensical jargon, ow, throughout the course of this game with me playing it, because action games and LP are just an ultimate combo. Like playing a Mario game with Hamachi, it's just epically hilarious to watch. I miss my LP Super Mario Bros. 3, that was so much fun. Especially with me getting hat and at the end of the LP, that was amazing. Yeah, that was a long time ago. That's actually how long has it been since the finish of that LP now? I honestly don't remember. It's been a couple of years. I'm, I'm trying to think. I think a couple of years now, which is pretty damn incredible. Yeah, I've finished a ton of LPs lately. Well, not lately, but I mean just in general. I've been LPing forever now. I, mean, I got my two my two year LP anniversary is actually coming up soon. Actually, now that I think of it, yeah. Um, let me think. Today is September 20th? Is that today's date? Um, uh, let me check. Yeah, today's the 20th. Um, I started LPing, um, 2009 of, of September. Uh, I think it was around the 25th or so. Um, wow. I should look into that, actually, to make sure I have the right date. Cause yeah, I'm pretty sure that's about right. Wow, I should do an, an anniversary or something like that. I know, yeah, my... Four-year anniversary, not uh, my five-year anniversary being on YouTube coming up in March. As I joined March 28, 2007, so that'll be coming up there soon, actually. Oh, soon-ish. It's still a handful of months away. So, oh well. And now we're finally where we're supposed to be. So this is the uh, the East Palace, I believe, our first true dungeon of the game. Yeah, before I actually tackle said dungeon, I want to make a little pit stop up here first. And then first thing first, I'll talk today's episode. And hey, hey, there's another person here. You look just like the other guy we saw before back in the desert there. Yeah, before I want to talk to you, I want to blow up your house. Hope you don't mind. I mean, you don't say anything anyway. I mean, you don't even really care. Or, frankly, notice. No, do I nab these items for some bombs? And yeah, they say that, yeah, I know how to throw bombs. I, I really do. Thanks, game. They'll help us nice the first time, which, it's yeah, it's always helpful, but not anymore. Okay, and hey, how's it going? You are Sahasrila, the village elder and a descendant of the seven wise men. But why are you here, not in your village, being the elder? Well, yeah, not anyone can, but we are Link. This is turn to the thing with Mario, like, I am the goddamn Mario. I can do anything. As when three pendants can wield the sword. Uh, duh, of course you do. A pendant of courage from the East Palace. And bring it here, and I will tell you more of the legend and give you magical artifacts. Ooh, that sounds magical. They're magically delicious. I saw commercials now on my TV for a, F a Food Network challenge They're talking about the Lion King movie, the, the 3D one. They're having a challenge to make cage for that. I want to see that movie really, really bad. I really, really do. Because Lion King is like the best movie, like, pretty much ever. Or at least the best Disney movie ever. It's regarding best movie. It's still really, really amazing. I mean, to see the movie in 3D would be awesome. So maybe this weekend I can go out and see it. Hopefully. I haven't, I haven't seen a movie in forever, actually, which is terrible because that's a contradiction to my name. But oh well. Okay. Now we're going to actually make our way to the East Palace here for our first true dungeon of the game. For next time on Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Link to the Past. This has been Iron Movie Sign Off, guys. Have a nice day and thanks for watching.